Hi there everyone, welcome to iPad Essentials. In this video, we will talk about one of the best note-taking application available for our iPad. This application not only work in iPad, but uh, you can access your notes across all major platform, be it a macOS, Windows, or even Linux. Not only that, it also comes with AI-based features. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so here you can see I am in my iPad screen. And actually, let me go back so that I can show you the app that I am talking with you about. So the app here you can see is Evernote. If you want to download this, then um, we can go here in App Store. And then uh, let's look for Evernote. Evernote, I would say, is a very robust and old app. So that kept on improving with time. So it is not something very new, but again, it gives you a very different kind of user experience that you will not get with any other app. So uh, here you can see I already installed it. That's why I am not seeing here get button, but you will see get and then you simply need to click on it and that's how you will be able to install it. So after installing this app, let's click on open. And there we go, guys. So this is interface of this app and maybe in your case it may look slightly different because i have added uh, some of widget which i'm gonna remove and then i will show you how you can also add it so by default probably you will see your interface look like this which we can always customize by clicking here on customize your widget and then um here we can add calendar filter notes um, my task notebooks and so on now i'm gonna click here on done and there we go guys, here we can see our custom interface. Now let's talk about how we're going to create a note here. So creating note I would say is pretty easy. Um, here we need to click on this plus button which says new note. So just click on that and that's how we will able to create our note. Uh, this particular one by typing. So I'm gonna write here, hey there, every one and like this uh, we can create our note or let's say you want to have other things and you will say that oh this is just like any other app what is so special about it so i would say this is one type of note that you can create inside your notebook so now i'm gonna click here on um, save button on the top now if i click here on this plus button now this time i can add task and i can give this task a name for example post video about capability of Evernote okay and I can add this to my list and I'm gonna make it due tomorrow and I can also set up um, my reminder time at what time I will be reminded so I'm gonna make it at 10 20 a.m. And let's click here on add reminder. And that's how guys, we can also create a to-do task. Now, uh, these all the tasks will be saved in my notebook. So this is beauty of Evernote uh, where you can create different, different kind of notes. You can also create, uh, you know, handwritten notes, which is again, really nice to have. So you can have all different kind of notes inside one notebook. So we created a text-based note. We also created this to-do task, sketch-based notes, and so on. And now I can see my notebook is full of notes. So basically we are grouping different, different types of notes in a single notebook. Isn't it cool guys? Now let's say you want to create a separate notebook instead of creating a note. That also we can do. So instead of clicking here on plus, what we need to do here is, um, we need to click below on find notebooks and here on the top we can see this plus button and here I can create a new notebooks for my language classes and that's how guys we can create a new notebook. Here also we can add different different types of note be it a task, new note, files, audio and so on. Now when we click here on home here we can see different different things at a glance. If you want to see all your favorite thing, you can simply click here on favorite. That will provide you a quick access. Here we can see all my tasks that I have added, calendar, notebook, tags, and so on. 
Now, if I click here on the top in user account, here you can see I am using my Gmail ID. If I click here on setting, here I can see multiple settings available. With sync option, you can sync your Evernote notebook and can access with same ID in other platform as well. And guess what? You can also access your note on the go using browser as well. So this was a very quick overview of Evernote and you might have seen the unique experience Evernote provides. So that's all guys from my side of this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to iPad Essential to follow more interesting and tricks related to iPad. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.